Tuesday the 25th of February 2020. You can only by his grace. Exodus 33, 12 KJV. And Moses said unto the Lord, See, thou sayest unto me, Bring up this people. And thou hast not let me know whom thou wilt send with me. Yet thou hast said, I know thee by name, and thou hast also found grace in my sight. Someone could be saying, Lord, I know it's your will for me to be a wonderful spouse to my partner, but I just can't do it all by myself. I know that you would like me to lead myself and my family in the fear of the Lord, but I can't do it without assistance. I am aware of the fact that you want me to take a lead in something in my local church, but Lord, are you going to help me to do it because on my own I will fail? If you build anything without the grace of God, you are building in vain. If you work on a project that God is not involved in, you will be frustrated. I remember once in my life trying to work on a love relationship, which I thought God was part of, but later on realized that the hand of the Lord wasn't in it. It brought me so much pain and nearly costed me my ministry life. It was the most miserable thing I was ever involved in because God was not in it and there was no grace made available. You need to pray for God's grace and guidance at all time to avoid pain and hurting yourself and others along the way. Some of the pain people are going through today could have been avoided if only they had known what is the will of God in that area for their lives. It's easy to feel like God has spoken to you on a particular matter and follow your feelings and miss the leading of the Lord. The Bible records that as many as are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Not those led by feelings, refuse to follow how you feel and follow the truth of the Word of God. Yes, it feels so real and you are convinced that God is in it and you ignore all the signs of the disaster that lays ahead. In the love relationship I spoke about earlier there were so many tales and signs that if only I had paid attention I would have saved myself from the heartache and unnecessary stress. Someone today could be doing a business that God is not involved in, running a church and the hand of the Lord is not upon it. Going to work but not enjoying it when you got the job you were excited and praised God but never consulted him to find out what is his will for your life. Now you are involved in activities that keep you away from the plans and purposes of God for your life and feel unfulfilled. You are miserable and hurt you wish you could start all over again. There are some people who will do something because of the different pressures of life. Some get married because everyone their age is married. Some people buy cars because all the friends bought cars. Some people have babies because everyone around them has a baby. Stop for a minute and ask yourself, is God really in this thing? You are sleeping with a man you are not married to and you think it's okay because everyone is doing it. The violation of God's plans for your life results in the absence of grace and abundance of hurts. So if you want to experience the grace of God in your life, be like Moses, the deliverer of the children of Israel. Moses tells the Lord that I understand the assignment, it's loud and clear, but are you going to give me some assistance because I can't do it on my own? When you continue reading the story, you will realize that God will say to Moses that I will go with you and my presence will give you rest. Make sure that God is involved and take advantage of his grace in order for you to be a success in all you do. Pray that you may walk and operate in the abundance of grace, that you may be the best version of you on the earth. That you will not live a life of trying to please others but God. That you may do the will of God on the earth. Message from Stanley Kujokura, plus 2637741313196. HPMI Arcadia Mega Church Pastor.